what's going on y'all welcome back to get fit with gabby this is the first episode of documenting my experience with getting a breast augmentation so today is going to be the q a portion i'm going to answer as many questions as i can on my own and i am going to be leaving a few questions for my surgeon when you guys get to meet him on my pre-op day which will be a week from my surgery date so Let's go ahead and get right into it. If this is something that you're interested in, this might um, offer some valuable information to you and definitely the pre-op video will and so will the recovery portion. So I hope you guys enjoy this series. Um, I do want to preface this by saying in no way am I trying to pressure anyone or tell anyone that surgery is a necessity. It is not. Everyone is beautiful just as they are. This is just something that I chose to do which I will get into later on in the video. Um, but if you're not for surgery that is totally fine. That is your opinion and your choice and your decision to do what you want with your body. Um, and this is my decision with what I want to do with my body. So if you have nothing nice to say or any negativity um, regarding surgery, just go ahead and exit off this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this and let's get right into it. All right, you guys. So I moved you up a little bit higher, so we're more eye level. Um, let's go ahead and get into these questions. You guys can see I have this list on my phone of which I'll be reading off of and answering. So um let's get right into it so the first question and oh i got this question quite a few times was how big are you going so i chose a 285 cc um now i know a lot of people are going to be like oh, that's nothing because usually people get like minimum 350 and then up from there um now my doctor which I guess this will kind of go into another question about sizing um where is it someone asked how do you know what size is best for your body so um the way my doctor did it is he basically examined me naked obviously um took a look at my body i explained to him what look i was going for and then um he did some measurements with a little like measuring tool um, I'll try to see if I can insert a picture of it or if he guys if he can show you guys on the pre-op appointment but basically it was like I think 285 cc would be the perfect size for you and what you're going for um, but just for your information we could f safely fit over 500 cc's in your chest on each side and I was like I would never <laughs> um, so that's how I kind of chose my size was um, through measurements by my doctor, what he recommended and the look I was going for. Um, we put all of those together and determined what size is safe for me and kind of went from there. So I am getting 285 on each side. My breasts are pretty um, much the same so I don't need one bigger on this side than this side. They're going to be 285 across. Um, and yeah that's the size that i chose and that's kind of how i got to that size next one is how long will it take to recover so um obviously this was a concern for me not a concern but um one of my first questions that i asked uh, my surgeon because i did not want to be um out of the gym for such a long time so he basically told me that um the first few days obviously in bed um, but then I can start doing lower body and abs one to two weeks after my breast augmentation and then arms shoulders and pecs would be three months um, so not bad at all I can definitely do with that if you guys watch my Instagram stories you guys actually know that I'm trying to lean out my upper body so taking some time off of working my upper body um, should help with that process so Kind of happy about that that it's not going to take a long time and i can start doing lower body abs and cardio one to two weeks after my surgery it's pretty great um how many days do you need someone to help you for your recovery so again one to two weeks i should be fine he basically said by the third or fourth day i should be able to do everything by myself i should be able to drive should be able to get myself out of bed etc 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 and um i know for a lot of people they think that um this 
kind of surgery takes a long time to heal and recover from and you need to have someone to assist you um, there's a lot of different factors that go into your healing process it depends on um, your health it depends on the size you go if you go under or over the muscle where your incision site is like all these things play a role in how fast you're going to recover mind you i haven't had the surgery yet so my body might react differently i might need some more time down but he said just by looking at me and based off of his average average um, recovery time for his patients, um, I should be good to go by day three or day four with doing things on my own. So what made you change your mind? So um, if you guys are uh, familiar with my channel or my Instagram, you guys might know that uh, last year in 2019, I had scheduled a breast augmentation for August 17th with a different doctor actually. Um, and at the time I just felt like I wanted it, but I was also very scared um, for different reasons. If you guys wanna go, um, a look at the reasons why I decided to cancel that breast augmentation you guys can click down below and I'll link it um, but my feelings have changed since then I feel more confident in my doctor more comfortable with my doctor now um, and I just feel more sure of my decision this is something that I've been wanting literally since I turned 18 um, and I've waited 1920 I've waited three almost four years for this so I think that if I want it after all these years I might as well just go for it it's not like it wasn't it's not like it was a decision that I made kind of out of nowhere like it wasn't something that just popped into my head and I was like oh let me go get a boob job like no I've been thinking thinking about this for like three almost four years um and I just kind of figure like I'm young now I can enjoy them before you know I have kids um, this is something that I want for myself um, nobody else's opinion <laughs> is stopping me or um, pushing me to do this so um, yeah that's kind of why I changed my mind and I did some more research as well which is super important um, how much is your breast augmentation going to be so um the breast augmentation is a total of nine thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars and you guys know i'm gonna always keep it real with you guys um that's a big chunk of money um to have boobs but the way I look at it is because I've wanted it for so long I've been able to save up over those years and kind of have that money set aside for it um, I paid it in full someone asked if I was doing payment plans I'm not doing payment plans on August 5th which is my pre-op appointment I'm handing them $9,850 in cash um, I also was able to get a $2,000 discount so it would have actually been more expensive than that um, and just I know people are gonna ask about that discount um, I went to three doctors and each one <laughs> I thought I was gonna have the surgery with um, and just so you guys know um, when you go into the doctor's office usually they give you a discount as a marketing tool to be like kind of like this is a deal we can offer you now it's kind of like a sale like online like if you go on to to purchase clothes um, and you bring it into your shopping cart and then you leave the site normally um, online stores will have something set up where it will send you an email and be like hey you forgot about your order here's 20% off um, so that's kind of what they do um, with at least with the doctors that I've been to all three of them have always offered me a discount um, which has been uh, great obviously I'll take it <laughs> um, and I just wanted to throw this out here as well. The doctor that I chose now, which again, you guys will meet him on the next video. Um, he is the most expensive doctor that I saw. But this is something very important that I want you guys, if you guys are thinking about getting any sort of surgery, just because a doctor is more expensive, don't let that make you shy away from them like in other words if you go to two doctors and one of them is cheaper and one of them is way more expensive but you feel more comfortable with this one go with this one because it'll make your surgery and just the process of it so much easier for you you don't want to shortcut yourself especially on something that in a sense is life-changing um so i didn't mind 
the price difference from the last doctor that I had went to because I felt more comfortable. I felt better about this doctor um, and I just, I had more trust in him. All right, so how did you pick your doctor? So um, I'm gonna give you guys a few of the things that I kind of go down my list and check off, like mental mental checklist. So obviously I wanna find someone whose work I really like. I always look at their kind of portfolio and I look at their work that they've done. I look at, um, weird enough, Yelp. A lot of um, doctors have like Yelp reviews. I also look on, um, there's a few different websites for like the um, plastic surgery community that you can go on search your doctor up and read reviews I'll link them down below for you guys so you guys can check them out because they're really useful um, so I go on there um, I make sure they're obviously board certified I like to see that they have some sort of awards or some sort of um, like something um, crediting them for good work or you know some sort of award so that I know like okay this person is not just um, bullshit like they've actually earned something um and i also look for experience experience is super important for me i want someone who has um a large clientele of what i'm getting done i don't want to go to someone who does bbls and be like hey can you do a breast augmentation i'm sure they could but that's not their specialty um i want someone that does breast augmentations often and my doctor does so um, those were kind of the main things that I looked for. And then obviously um, setting up an, a consultation with your doctor uh, is really going to, after you've done those first few things that I mentioned, you want to set up a consultation with that doctor and meet them in person and get that vibe from them. So um, always meet your doctor in person and make sure that you guys click together as two people. Because at the end of the day, your life is in their hands. Um... The next question I got is breast implant illness, rupturing. Are you scared of it? Um, I know <laughs> I got a bunch of questions regarding implant illness, um, breast implant illness. This was something I was worried about last year after doing more research and talking to my doctor about it. I feel confident that that's not going to be an issue for me. Um, when I go do go to my pre-op appointment, I'll have him speak on it uh, and kind of give you guys the information that he gave me regarding it that really put my mind at ease. Um, I know a lot of people are say that they experience breast implant illness and i'm not discrediting them if you feel like you have that you have it um but i just feel like something had to have gone wrong in the surgery and it will make sense when i have my doctor explain um breast implant illness when you guys get to meet him so i'm not worried about breast implant illness i'm not too worried about rupturing um quite frankly it's really hard to rupture a uh, breast implant um, so I'm not too worried about either of those um, is it in the back of my head and am I cautious of it and I'm if, am I aware of it absolutely but like I said I'm not worried about it um, so someone asked are you just getting implants or are you getting a reduction too so no <laughs> I'm definitely not gonna get a reduction um, I am getting implants to have a fuller cup size and just to look a little more feminine because I am very very flat chested like hi hello <laughs> there's nothing there um and that came from losing so much weight um a lot of people asked if losing weight um affected my breasts negatively and yes they did they made them smaller and um they sag and uh when i go to my pre-op appointment you guys will get to see all the befores and everything um and kind of get a better look at what I'm talking about but definitely not getting a reduction just getting implants and no lift because I know that that will probably be a question as well um what incision are you getting and are you going under or over the muscle so I am getting the underneath the boob um incision I believe it's called the inframammary yeah incision and um that one is the safest incision that you can do i don't really care about scarring i'm pretty good at healing from scars um when i was quick kind of backstory when i was younger um i had slid on blacktop at school and literally scratched from here all the way down 
my skin off my face and it was just raw i'll try to find a picture and throw it up because it's it, it was insane um and i you guys can see i literally have no scar on my face and um my pediatrician was shook she was like wow she has really good skin um and so yeah ever since then i've just noticed that like with um any cuts or scrapes that i get on my skin i heal very well i don't really have any stretch marks either so i'm very lucky and blessed with good genes um in that sense i am going under the muscle so um if you normally if you go over the muscle it tends to look not as natural just because the implant is sitting closer to the surface of everything if you go under the muscle it softens the look of having an implant in there so i am choosing to go under the muscle um someone asked why wouldn't you do a fat transfer so there is such thing as taking fat so getting liposuction basically and taking it from other parts of your body and then putting it in your breasts um two main reasons i wouldn't do that i'm a fitness influencer and i preach not getting liposuction and trying normal weight loss things first so i feel like if i were to ever get liposuction it would just discredit me completely so main reason why i won't ever do that Ooh, didn't mean to flip you guys off i'm so sorry um second reason <laughs> is because even if i did say ah fuck it let's do some liposuction and put that fat in my breasts i'm a fitness influencer i work out for a living and um that fat would eventually go away and i would be left in the same spot with having saggy unfilled boobs because the fat fat is fat if you work out enough it's gonna go like that and then you're left at point a so those are the two main reasons why i'm not gonna do fat transfer and i'd rather just get implants um now the few questions that i'm going to read off right now are going to be for my doctor in the next video which will be uploaded probably i would say august 5th i could probably get it up on the same day that i go to my pre-op appointment um but i'm reading you guys these questions so that you guys can drop any other questions that you want to ask my doctor down below um and we can go over them together so i have can you breastfeed um nipple sensitivity do you lose feeling what is safer saline or silicone which one gives you a more natural look will insurance cover breast augmentation or breast reduction who's my doctor which you guys will get to know and what are implants made of so those are the questions that i have as of right now for my doctor if you can think of any more or if you want to know any more you can drop them down below um i do know the basic answer to most of those questions but i want him to go more in depth and give you guys as much information as possible you guys know that i keep it 100 over here and i want to be able to um, document this process so that you guys can all if you're if this is something that you're thinking about you can go to my videos and get all the information that you need so I hope this video helped I hope it answered some of the main basic questions for you guys um, the next video will be August 5th and like I said that will be you guys meeting my doctor some before pictures um, kind of going over the surgery process and all of that and then um, my actual surgery date is august 12th um and that one i'm gonna try to get up i might still be like totally out of it uh that one will basically be obviously me going to my surgery me getting ready for my surgery in the office um i'm gonna try and see if someone can film in the actual operating room for you guys um i know that they've done that before and i don't think it should be a problem i just don't want them to not be focused on me so i will make my decision on that and see what i want to do about that and then um i will probably film day one of recovery in that video and then the next one will be like the first week of recovery kind of filming um so yeah i hope you guys are excited for this i'm excited for it i can't wait to have it done and just be popping up here <laughs> um, said if you have any more questions you can drop them down below and if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed i love you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye